Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will give you messages and guidance from Spirit to help you through your day and on your journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? We start off with the King of Pentacles, masculine earth energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This is also a money card, being in a financially stable, secure position. This can also reference entrepreneurialism business very fruitful wealth. What other messages for Pisces, please? Very stable and grounded energy. The next two cards we have are the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, a creative new beginning, growth and expansion. Followed by the Five of Cups, some type of disappointment, grieving, reflection of the past be, having not been what was desired or not lived up to. Looking back upon some type of disappointment, mourning, grieving, having some type of loss. What other messages for Pisces, please? I'm feeling more disappointment out of the Five of Cups in this reading. What other messages for Pisces? What other messages for Pisces? This could have been even a disappointing new beginning. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. The next card we have is the Three of Cups, or Three of Swords, rather. So we're seeing disappointment, a heartache, a pain, some type of grieving, a loss, grieving from some type of woundedness. What other messages for Pisces, please? Now, the sword energy is mental energy, verbal energy. So your mental processes could be reflecting negatively during this time as well. Then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The King of Pentacles is that masculine earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this is Taurus energy. So Taurus energy coming through in the reading a little bit more strongly. The Hierophant is also about belief structures, organizations, religious beliefs. For me as a reader also, we can see the keys down here that indicates that you might be at a crossroads. The Hierophant also represents commitment, divinity, servitude. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages? Thank you. And then we have one more message for you. And that is lovers. So lovers, a choice, a decision, that commitment, that love between divine masculine and divine feminine. Also, we have the archangel on this card overseeing the connection, divinely blessing, the choice, decision, or connection. So next to each other, we see the energy of committed love. We see the energy of a disappointing heartache. We see the potential of growth out of a stable position or having to do with earth energy. So we're going to, going to dive into this and see what else we can find. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this King of Pentacles for Pisces, please? I'm hearing adornment. And I'm hearing adornment because I'm seeing the armor come out from the cloak. And it's like you have an adornment. Because of the station, your position, you could also be dealing with somebody who's at a higher station. 
and then we have the Ten of Wands. Very interesting that we have this contrast. Let's get one more card for this King of Pentacles. One more card for this King of Pentacles, please. This could also be referencing a financial burden. What is this King of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Show us clearly. We, okay, so we're seeing here a transformation. Because of a stability, because of a security, perhaps financial or the support of somebody, you're being able to transform the Ten of Wands into the Ace of Wands. So this is about a turnabout. And then we have the Four of Cups, something being offered to you that you don't recognize that is going to help you put down the burden. And it could be offered to you, it could be a financial offer, an offer of security, stability, or it could be coming from somebody who has dark hair, dark eyes, who might be at a different station than you financially, social, economically, or they could have earth in their chart. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? But we see something being offered to you that you don't recognize at first. And then we have the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries energy. It's about control, authority, non-emotional decisions, making the right best decision for all who are involved. One more card for this Ace of Wands. One more card for the Ace of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords, a message coming through. The Page of Swords is also a social media card, also a, a card of spying. Somebody could be spying or watching you through social media or otherwise. Let's get a card to clarify what this Page of Swords is, please, Spirit. What is this Page of Swords for Pisces? You could be getting a message from somebody who's older than you, that Emperor energy, somebody who might be a boss or an authority. What is this page of source for Pisces, please? Show us clearly what this page of swords is. What is this page of source for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Hierophant coming through again. So we're having the Hierophant, Taurus energy, triply strong. You could be getting a message from a Taurus. You could be getting a message from somebody who's in a position of authority. Both the Emperor and the Hierophant are in positions of authority. It could also be regarding something you believed or held to be true. The Page of Swords is a very rapid message coming through in hours or days away. The next card we have is a Five of Cups showing some type of grieving, loss, or disappointment. What is this Five of Cups for Pisces? What is this Five of Cups? Thank you. And we have Justice card. Justice is Libra energy. It's a truth. One more card for this Five of Cups. And we're getting the Strength card. So we're having strong a strong sense of justice here. Strong balancing power. Having the courage to be accountable as well, having the courage to speak truth, even though it might be disappointing. Let's move on to this Three of Swords. What is this Three of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? So what I'm hearing is also having the strength to move on. The Justice card can represent a contract or an agreement as well, something legal. Here for the Three of Swords, we are getting the Five of Pentacles. Some type of loss, lack, separation, rejection, abandonment, feeling out in the cold. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands coming through again. There is a new beginning here. And then we have the Knight of Cups, a romantic gesture or proposal a change in your emotions, a change of emotions, a cleansing out, we're seeing a cleansing out of this heartache and pain after a time of difficulty, of struggle, of feeling out in the cold. Spirit, what is this, what is this Ace of Wands, or actually let's do this Five of Pentacles. What is this Five of Pentacles for Pisces, please? You could even have an offer coming 
to you after you've endured the, the heartbreak of a rejection. And here we have the Seven of Pentacles, really thinking about what had, has gone before. The Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles is 12, which reduces to the Three of Pentacles. So this is showing you're really working through, thinking through and working through whatever heartache and pain you've experienced. What is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Wands? And, we're, and then we get the Three of Pentacles. So you're really working through that heartache and pain, as we just said, to go towards growth and expans expansion, utilizing that heartache, that grieving, that loss, that period of lack to rebuild and to build a creative, passionate new beginning for yourself. The Three of Pentacles also speaks about teamwork, coming together, utilizing your skills, talents, and abilities and bringing them to market to bear for profitability. What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces? And the Four of Swords. So we do see a time of peace, a time of healing, going from the Three of Swords, working through that energy. Three of Pentacles also is a card about working through, working through, focusing on a new beginning and an emotional change and going towards a place of healing, rest, recovery. And we have the Five of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. So this is recovery after time of heartache, pain, rejection, loss, abandonment, however that resonates for you. What is this Hierophant for Pisces, please? Now we have the Hierophant twice in your reading. What is this Hierophant for Pisces, please? And we are getting the world. It's a completion. One more card for this Hierophant, please. And we have a few coming out. A completion, and then we have the Sun Leo energy, followed by an Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning, a cleansing away, and a celebration. So we're seeing a change, perhaps, in your commitment, your sense of commitment towards something or someone, going from being committed to one thing and going through a healing process and committing yourself or recommitting yourself to something else. Spirit, what is this Ace of Cups here, please? What do we need to know about this Ace of Cups? I'm hearing cleansing away, a new emotional beginning. It could even be a new relationship. The Three of Cups references a reconciliation, reunion, joy. And here we're getting quite a few cards for this Ace of Cups. The first card we have is the Tower. A sudden, unexpected change sudden unexpected emotional change followed by the temperance card sagittarius energy two substances coming together two complementary energies coming together to form a new substance and then we have the lovers for the second time here so we're definitely seeing that energy of togetherness of divine masculine and divine feminine the energy of making choices and decisions followed by the King of Swords, Masculine Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Also very discerning energy. Some of you may have gone through a breakup, Tower breakup, King of Swords, a finality, a contractual separation, a severing of something that used to be one. And now that's leading you to a new emotional beginning. This does not necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be a mindset. The Hierophant does represent your belief structure. So you could be departing away from one type of belief structure or a held belief and reforming that, suddenly realizing you want to make a choice and change your mental landscape. What is this lovers here for Pisces? What is this lovers for Pisces, please? 
So we're getting the King of Pentacles and the Moon. The King of Pentacles, the first primary, strongest energy out. And now we're having the King of Pentacles come out again with the Moon energy. The Moon being Pisces, it's also something that's not seen. Or something that's held in darkness, not revealed. What is this King of Pentacles here for Pisces? It could be... It could be... Some of you might be making a decision between an earth sign and a Pisces or a water sign. We do see on the moon the duality of the wild dog and the domesticated dog or the coyote and the domesticated dog. What is this king of pentacles, please? What is this king of pentacles? And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for a number of you, this is going to be work-related, really focusing on your work, focusing on your security, your stability. And what is this moon? I'm hearing while you're, while you're focused on the work, the task at hand, something will come out of the darkness that you don't necessarily expect. What is this moon, please? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. You're building something. The Ten of Pentacles can be money, security, stability, commitment. It's also a better station for yourself. So for those of you who have been working to improve your financial position, your social economical position, we do see after a couple bumps in the road, after a disappointment, a setback, a heartache, a, a time of or period of lack that you are in, in fact employing yourself working towards healing restoration a new emotional beginning and making decisions that support your security and stability for others of you this is referencing a relation or relationships not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship, but some type of relationship where there was a burden, perhaps a separation and a coming together with a new relationship or a rejoining of a relationship. So this is the message that I have for you today, Pisces, and I hope it helps. God bless.